Last year, on the International Day for the Right to Truth, United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon proclaimed, the right to the truth is both an individual and a collective right. Each victim has the right to know the truth about violations against them, but the truth also has to be told more widely as a safeguard to prevent violations from happening again. In 2013, victims and survivors of the conflict had their hopes raised by political negotiations on dealing with the past. However, so far, victims' interests have taken second place to vested interests. In Ireland, the failure to find a mechanism to deal with our past has robbed generations of families of the dignity of truth about the killings of their loved ones. It is now time for healing. It is now time for truth. Both my sons, Michael and Jimmy, were killed in the conflict. It's been very hard. Time for truth. I was 11 years old when my daddy was murdered by the British Army, shot in the back. I have remained 11 years old ever since. Time for truth. Wari Grioi Stach Mi Adje, Kronui Me Hienog Is Mi Ar Fergu Joy, An Ear Nionish. My son David was killed by state agents. I used to trust the state. Time for truth. The British Army murdered our daddy. My mother was left to raise six children, all under the age of 12. Time for truth. Michael was 21 when he was murdered by a British Army plastic bullet. The agencies of the state colluded to cover this crime. Time for truth. Three members of my family were killed during the conflict. I direct our family. Time for truth. Four days after the bomb on the Shankill Road, my two sons, Jared and Rory, were murdered in our home. It was my daughter, Roisin's 11th birthday. Time for truth. My 13-year-old daughter, Martha, was shot dead. There was no inquiry or no investigation. Time for truth. My grandfather was killed 22 years ago. I never met him. Time for truth. The Queen of England came to visit Belfast in August 1977. The British Army murdered my brother that day. Time for truth. Wari Arm na Bratnya, Mayaraher, Kevin Barry O'Donnell, and Melanigate Naha Ada. Nero Un Hinchna Agin Ariu. An Irinya Anish. My uncle Barney was 87, the oldest person to be killed in the conflict. It was proven to be collusion. Time for truth. My 20 year old brother, John Laverty, was murdered by the British state in 1971. We have still had no justice. Time for truth. State agents killed my dad going to work teaching kids. I have no memories, only stories. Time for truth. My son Philip just turned 14 years old. He was abducted and murdered. Time for truth. For my auntie and niece, here now is a time near a mile away. You know, chance of him being with I'm fearing you now. My mother was executed in 1971. I was nine. Her grandchildren were denied the privilege of knowing her. Time for truth. Dorothy was my favourite aunt growing up. At 19, she had half her head blown off. Time for truth. My husband, Mickey, was a hard-working man. He was murdered because he was a Catholic. Time for truth. My wife, Teresa, was murdered in our living room by a pro British death squad. Teresa was a devoted mother to our two young girls. Time for truth. Skilly my uncle from Boas, August Ganim Ahur Tivlesh, Nero Chelak Sogin, Morangina Arish, and Erinya Anish. My 15 year old brother, Seamus, was murdered by an RUC plastic bullet. My mummy and daddy have never got over it. Time for truth. Two of my brothers, Roddy and Adrian, were murdered. 
After 32 years, we demand justice. Time for truth. Danny was 15 when he was murdered by the British Army. My parents became frozen. My father died prematurely. Time for truth. I was the baby of a family of six when my daddy was murdered. We were robbed of the lives we could have had. Time for truth. Skeel on the brat in you, my uncle, humbush, in every up round it. Crony and my mum were hanging out. An ear in you, an ish. They came into my home and murdered my father. My four children witnessed this. Time for truth. <laughs>